Cecilia Eoseppi was a secular Servite who dreamed of becoming a missionary. She died at the age of 18 and kept a journal which she titled Story of a Clown. This is a biography of her life. She was born in Italy in 1910, the youngest of 11 children. Her father died when she was only four months old and her family moved to live with her maternal uncle. As a child, she attended a convent school near a Servite convent. When she was 12, she joined the Servite order as a secular member. She also joined Catholic Action. She was particularly devoted to St. Therese of Lisieux. She said, The nuns told us of the lives of the saints. One day, I happened to read the story of Teresa of Lisieux. I read it all in one go, and it moved me to tears. I felt in my heart that this was the road I ought to travel. At age 13, she requested to join the order as a postulant, but her mother and uncle objected. Her bishop approved her request despite this, and she moved to Rome to study. She dreamed of one day becoming a missionary, saying, Even as a child, I was concerned about the toil of missionaries. The good fathers told of distant lands, of conversions and baptisms. The greatest aspirations filled my heart, and I too hoped to go far where no one would know me, so that I could make Jesus known and loved as I loved him. Unfortunately, she fell ill just three years after moving to Rome. She was diagnosed with tuberculosis and sent home to recuperate. While she was at home, she was visited by members of Catholic Action, as well as seminarians and priests. One priest, Gabriele Roschini, became her confessor and instructed her to keep a journal. She self-deprecatingly titled her journal, Story of a Clown. She told Roschini, sorry about the title, but I could think of nothing better for the story of my life. In her journal, she wrote, the sum of it all is recognizing one's nothingness. It pleases Jesus, who likes to joke with his creatures, to steep in grace the least probable, the ones who seem to him to be the most wretched, in order to make his mercy shine forth all the more, and he takes pleasure in their confusion and wonder. For the next two years, her health declined further. One night, she had a dream in which St. Therese visited her and predicted the night of her death. She died on the night of October 1, 1928, the night of the prediction while singing songs to the Blessed Virgin. She was only 18 years old. Her journal and other spiritual writings were approved by theologians in 1946. She was beatified in 2012 and her feast day is October 1st. <laughs>